Welcome everyone, Harlequin here, and I'm bringing you some Duelist. Duelist is a game that just came out um, as of this recording a couple days ago, and I honestly found it through Humble Bundle. I love Humble Bundle, I've supported them for years and years and years, uh, and when I saw the name Duelist pop up as one of their promotional items, I was like, I have never heard of this. So... I have not seen any videos on it. I didn't get to see their website because it was down the day it came out. Now, as of this recording, I just went into the website and I still haven't seen anything because it. This is also apparently able to be played in your browser. So, I I have no idea what this game is about. I see this. This is a story that I just logged in and nothing's happened. This is the first thing that popped up. So I picked a username. It's the only other thing. So this is it. I'm assuming we're going through a tutorial. I have no idea what to expect here. But um, it sounds like it's going to be really interesting. So let's get through this and let's see what this is all about. Unlock over a dozen, a dozen, not a dozen, hidden achievements to play more matches. Knowledge is power. Some of your men is defeat the enemy general. Okay. Well, it's pixelated. Oh, this is my general. Okay. Archeon High Main. Archeon. Archeon High Main. If you're out of health, which is 10, you lose. Oh, damn. Do you have enough damage to win? To Caliberto? Move up to two spaces. Alright. Move forward by dragging onto the tile. So hold. Let go. Attack by dragging onto the enemy. Alright. Woo! Okay. So when you attack an enemy, they automatically trade damage. During their turn, it looks like I draw a card. Caliberto is drawing minions. Golden Brawler. Alright, can I draw a minion? Gain one mana at the start of the turn. Okay. It's about time. Urgh. Summon a minute by dragging it onto the tile field. Oh, so can I just... Oh, anywhere around him. Okay. Alright, minion must wait a turn to attack. Attack the enemy general again. Alrighty. So yeah, it looks like when you attack a card, they attack back. So, kind of like some old, old style rules. A lot of the new style card games are more like, you attack, they can't attack back unless they have a special effect to attack back. I like the old style rules like this one, where when you attack, they do damage to you too. Taste these claws. Okay. Silver main minion. Ooh. My turn. Summon it. Attack diagonally to finish it off. Okay. See? Still does damage. Even though it would have killed him, it does kill him. He still does damage back. I actually like those type of rules. There will be no retreat. Alright, enter. Ooh, what is this? Bright Moss Golem. Golem. Windcliffe Guardian? Ooh. The challenge begins. Finish off Caliberto this turn. This turn? Oh my goodness. How in the hell... Alright, I think I know what to do. So, I'm gonna wanna move him. Oh, well, okay. No, yeah, no, I see what to do. For giggles, though, I'm gonna put him. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, this is just this. I'm gonna show you. So, because he can't move any further, he needs to attack him diagonally. This takes care of him. And then, if I want, I can summon him here for giggles. But he needs to move over here, and then attack him like that. And bam, game's over. GG! Victory is ours! So anywhere to continue. Nice. So it's a turn-based game. Cool. Ready player two. Oh god. A new challenger is approaching. Cast spells on the battlefield. Alright. Cast spells on the battlefield. Alright. Enemy turn. Ooh. You start on the right side as player two. Oh, okay. You get an extra mana crystal. Okay. 
Occupy a mini mana, any mana spring to gain bonus mana. Oh gosh. I move to the closest spring. Enter. Okay. My my minions cost a lot of mana. My turn. Occupy the mana spring. Okay. Great job! You gained mana! Hooray. Summon. But I wanted to know his name. Wait, I want to see his name. His name is Thorn Ephron. I think. I don't know. Go, Thorn Ephron. You can replace one card anytime during your turn. What? Oh, him. Okay. He's too expensive. A true spike. A true strike spell. Perfect timing. Alright. Look, your voice is just going everywhere. You need to learn to settle down. Two damage to a minion. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, as soon as this guy. Bam! Get striked. Enter. That's right, run away. Finish him off in one turn. Oh my goodness! Well, let's see, he can't move to any mana spring. I wonder if he could move to a mana spring, but would it matter? I have five right now. Mana Springs can gain one mana this turn. That would give me six, which would be enough for him, which doesn't do anything, considering. I think I should be able to just finish him off like this, right? Like, I'm not mistaken, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. It was that simple, guys. There was no nothing complex to that. That was too easy. <laughs> we won. Victory. Okay. Transform units does not activate rebirth or dying wish. Alright, final challenge the Bloodborne. Learn the power of artifacts and Bloodborne spells. Oh gosh, okay. Learn the power of artifacts? Oh gosh. Of course, okay. Choose a starting hand. You place up to two cards in your starting hand. Replace this high cost card. It's usually what you want. Do I replace the other one too? No, it won't let me. Okay. I got two zeros. Ooh, fancy. Equip it. I equipped it. Let's see who wins head to head. Can I equip it again? Ah, oh, okay. Alright, enter. So I guess those are permanent attack boosts, it looks like. Artifacts have three durability. If your general takes one damage, equip to three artifacts at one time. Okay. Nice, I like that. Bring it on, Dreadlord! Alright, that was bad. Let's summon an Arabian Knight! There he is. Add another artifact. Bam! Deal two damage from your artifacts. Yeah! Ow! It's not head to head if I have, art, if I have a minion, just saying. The Bloodborne spell counts on each turn until it refreshes. Oh gosh, okay. Add the other artifact? Oh. Oh, your ally. Oh, your hero ability, likely. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Wait, can I equip this though? I said I equip three. Ah, oh, let me do it. Gosh darn it. I mean, I guess technically we will still win this fight now. It's just you and me now. Alright. In one turn. Oh, jeez. Well, if you let me quit both of these like I want to, I will defeat in one turn. Good night, sweet prince. Victory. This is pretty amazing. Faction unlocked. Linear, linear kingdoms? Something like that. Win one practice game. Yay, got it. Let's win a practice game. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. Hone your skills against computer controlled opponents. Let's do it. 
Like nine, nine kingdoms. kingdoms. Looks like there's six I can unlock. Okay. Choose your opponent. Magmar Aspects. Let's go, Magmar. Oh, man. You know, our guy reminds me of the one... I wish I remember his name. Uh, from the Stay Night series. From the first one. The, well, the prequel one. I don't remember his name. GLHF, what? <laughs> so stupid. Alright, let's go see if we can get this mass ring. You gonna do anything? Yeah, of course you are. Alright, let's equip our bracelets of power. Move here. I want to summon my brawler over here, and then let's attack him. All right. Ooh, what's his ability? Spells refreshes in two turns. But what is it? Oh, give your general one attack. Okay, so he just has an attack modifier. Ow. Oh, he summons a minion. Oh, gosh, dang, he's got six attack. Ooh, that's no good. Oh, that's no good. Um, I'm going to have to sacrifice this guy. He does six attack. I can't let him hit my general with that. But I have five, so I can summon two Arabian Knights. Wait, Zeal gains two attack. Okay. So I should summon these guys, really. There's one. There's the other. Let's move over here. And then let's bop him in the face. He's been bopped. Alright, in turn. Come on, what you gonna do now? Ah, uh, don't run away from me. Who are you summoning? Who are you summoning? And when he dies, you draw a card. Alright, I see that. Uh, six, seven, eight. It's not enough to kill him yet. It's an eight by eight. It's a four by three. Let's summon our big dude right here. We'll summon him right here, too. Uh, I don't want him to hit my guy, but he gets to draw a card. Screw it. I'll have the advantage of my 8x8 eight eight here. Let's move you up. He gets plus 2 by being next to me. Which gives you the damage boost. Alright, enter. Oh, wait, was that active and I didn't pay attention to it? Gosh dang it. That would have killed him. That would have given me the total advantage right there. He's done. Game's over. GG. You lose. Just do it. Just attack. Good night. We'll play. I know, right? Ooh, I leveled up. Lion Armor Kingdoms level 2. Level 2 reward. Give a minion attack equal to its health. Oh my god. That sounds so strong. One spirit orb. What? Okay. I unlock the magmar aspects. Oh man. I like the little running thing. It looks so cute. Win two more practice games. Got it. Let's do it. Let's try the magmar aspects. Oh. There we go. The Truvian looks awesome, by the way. Place up the two cards. We are timeless. We will remember you. <laughs> it's cool. Okay. Uh, it's a five. It's not that bad. 
Nah, I'll keep it. I think we're good. What are these, though? Destroy any minion with the lowest attack or tie for the lowest attack. Wow. Okay. That seems super strong. Move him to the mana pools last time. Same strategy. But we should be able to summon a guy here. Hello. How you doing? He's a 6-1. Yeah, remember this guy. Super strong, but he's only got one health. Like, this is a guy you want to sacrifice him. He shouldn't move that close. That was a really bad move. He's going to take 6 damage for that. That is so not worth it. <laughs> Okay, guy. Yeah. Okay, you know, whatever. You can do it. Alright, we're gonna move here. That's gonna give me five. So I can summon him. And then I can summon him. Hopefully, stop him from moving over there. Oh, he's got Rush. Wow! That worked exactly as I thought it would. I still got my 6 1. So he's gonna he can either attack it or move. Replace. What's his ability? So I'm gonna two two iron dervish on a random space nearby general. Again, not worth it. Taking six damage. Your general gains four attack. Ooh. Shieldmaster. Wait, what does this guy do? Provoke. Stops nearby enemy minions and generals from moving. They must attack him first. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, can we destroy him? That gives me four. So that'd be six. That would be enough to kill him. General plus one attack. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Does this work though? Destroy any minion with the lowest attack? Yeah? Yeah! Get wrecked, son. Alright, now let's equip this to me because I got nothing else better to do. Game plus one attack. Awesome. Move over here. And slap him in the face. Could I move down here? I don't think so. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, here you Bright Moss Golem. Just a fat tank. Nice. Come on, homie, make a move. Alright, you got the extra mana pool. Smart. I didn't pay this to where I could have gone there or not. Necromancer, draw a card. He's already low enough that I don't mind taking 5 damage from the Necromancer. Super amounts. Would this kill him? 3, 7, yep, he's dead. GG. For giggles, we'll do this. Alright, move there. Destroy his face. Alright, I really like this. This is actually really fun. Magmar Aspect is level 2. Level 2 reward. Choose an enemy minion you can no longer counterattack. Ooh! That sounds great for anyone who has like a higher... So like that level 6 that I had, that 6-1 card, that ability sounds really great for a card like that. That way all they have going for them is their defense if you can take them out on your turn. Alright, win two more practice games. That's right. So let's keep going with this. We're going to take on Abyssian Host. Ooh, which one looks better between Abyssian and Vitruvian? Ooh, this has got a hook blade. I like Abyssian. I'm sorry, I like the hook blade. You need not fear death. Oh, my hands, right. Uh, this one's a little too high. Threes and fours, not super bad. I guess I'll keep those. What are those? Little flies. I got flies. Dying with draw cards. So I'm die, draw a card. Provoke. I have to provoke. Turn enemy in your general. Ooh. Okay. Alright, move forward. Same plan. Go for the mana. Mana crystal first. Uh, I can summon him. That's right. It doesn't work, I don't believe, if minions go here, right? It does. Okay, well great. We got a mana. Not that it mattered. Alright, we'll keep that in mind next time. So the mana crystal, you might want to use it that turn, otherwise it's just a waste. Ooh, what is this guy? Death Watch, gain 1-1. One, one. 
I just realized Battle Dog. Cool. You can see everything on this plate. Uh, let's see. Give a mini 1-1 one, one, draw card. Uh, wait. Hold on. Let's use him there. Go ahead and summon him. Push our guy up. We're gonna push this guy up. Then we're gonna slap her in the face. Alright, in turn. And then she can't immediately retaliate. She's gonna have to deal with him first. What is her special? Summon two wraithlings nearby your general. He dies for it. He's 1-1. One, one. Doesn't matter. Yeah! This thing is super strong. I was so lucky in that last encounter to actually just have that thing. What the hell? It's flying. Oh gosh. There's a flying thing now to go with this? Ugh. Alright. Blast. What? Attack all enemy minions and generals in one straight line. Well, I doubt, I doubt I can go diagonally. So. There's an enemy nearby your general. My general, no one's... It's not nearby him. I don't need to come over here for that to work. And that puts me out of, out of sight for her attack. Although, it does help... Secure me. I don't know what flying does. Provoke cannot move unless attack provokers. Yes. Oh, it can move anyone on the battlefield. That's a special attribute. That's it. Um. Uh, uh. Go ahead and get in the damage then. Well. Hmm. Give him a minion one one draw card. Let's do this. Cause it's not actually use my little thing here. Oh, well, let's do that again then. I'm okay with that. Oh gosh, okay. Go ahead and attack her in turn. We're good here. Oh, I should have used him to attack. Oh well, I'm fine with that. He's my little defense guy. They still have to go through him to get to me. And right now I just gave him two 1-1 one, one boosts, so he's pretty tanky. Yeah, see, look at that. Free damage. Who's she summoning? Summoning a 1-1 one, one Wraith... Wait, what? I didn't see it. Opening Gadget. Summoning a 1-1 one, one Wraithling in a random space nearby. So that's this, the Wraithling. Okay. Well, let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, she's, she's dead. I want to see this whole blast thing. All in a line. That is so cool. She's gonna kill him. And GG. Thanks for playing. Victory! Vitruvian wins again. Well, I, you know what I mean. <laughs> second, Sion second wish to a friendly mini 2 2. And it takes no damage from generals? Holy moly! You know, there's only. They, I've always heard this thing, there's two ways to balance the thing. One, make everything kind of small damage or super balanced just to make sure it's everything, count everything, this and that. Or make everything overpowered as possible, so that way it's just a slug bloody fest. It looks like this game goes to the ladder, and I love it. The basic host is unlocked. Alrighty, is it gonna want me to win three more practice games now? Win season, win one season ladder game. Okay, complete the daily challenge. Oh, uh, what's the daily challenge? Defeat the Magmar General in one turn. And I get five Spirit Orbs, looks like, from it. <clears throat> Alright, I have six mana. I need to defeat him. He has 17. My current total attack on the field right now... Ah, uh, they couldn't get to him, so it wouldn't matter as far as those. So it would be these, these three, it looks like. Which even then only comes down to uh, 2, 4 damage. So how does this work? Alright, first you need to see what their... Attack from anywhere on the battlefield. Okay, so these guys do count. Um, so that's 2, that's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8 damage on the field right now that can hit him for sure. But he has 17. I gotta make up for that other part. Do you have 1 damage to a minion if it dies this turn? Its space turns into a shadow creep. 
with the Shadow Creep, deals damage to the enemy minions, and general standing at the end of the owner's turn. Deal 1 damage to a minion if it dies this turn. Okay, so deal damage to this one, I assume, then. And... Deals damage to enemy minions and general standing on it. But it wouldn't be standing on it. That's my problem. Okay, anyways, what is this? Deal one damage to an enemy minion and teleport it to any space on the battlefield. So that way all three of these can get closer, it still doesn't do much. Your general gains death watch, gain two attacks. Okay. That's still not enough though, right? So it gains two attack, right? So that, that means this is four. Um, that's still not enough, that's still 10. Hmm. That's 3, that would be 5 mana, and then this one. So obviously I have to use all my spells. That one's obvious from this. So we're gonna need this for sure. It says my general, wait, it says my general though, right? Your general gains death watch, gain 2 attack. Death watch trigger whenever you any minion dies. Okay. Alright, um hmm. Deal one damage to a minion. If it dies this turn, the space turns into Shadow Creep. Shadow Creep will deal damage to enemy minions and general stand on it at the end of the turn. But how much damage? That's that's what's getting to me. How much damage is it gonna do? I guess it wouldn't hurt to find out, right? Like, I guess that's what we're getting to. So I'm going to copy this minion into a random unoccupied, unoccupied corner. When it dies... Oh! So I'm going to one one range mini jacks each in each unoccupied corner. So I need to get these out of there pretty much. I think I know what to do. And good, I don't think I'm timed on this one, obviously. So let's move them out. Because we want to get them out of these corners so these two can have their effects. So I'm going to copy this minion in an unoccupied corner. As it's dying wish. And so I'm going to do 1 1 mini jacks on each opening gambit. Triggers an effect when summoned from your action bar. Oh, it's already got the mini jacks. Okay, so his has already been, been, been done. It's done. This guy. It's a little different here. Alright, we're going to try to see if it works. Battle Pet has a mind of its own. Alright, well, can I just tell him to attack? Like, go get him. Mm, okay, hold on. This is still a bit difficult here. It's still not enough though. I can't control the battle pet apparently. Hmm. I need to kill him in one turn. That's the challenge here. And that's her spell. Mm. I need to see what it does before I restart my turn. So let's just go for something to see what this does. So first off, let's kill this. This minion takes damage. Do that much damage to all nearby enemies. Ooh, I don't want to do that though. Ugh, it's so complicated.
Mm, I, I feel, feel like, like it wants me to use this on my battle pet. pet. I think I know what I want to do. I think I know. Alright, hold on. Let me do some calculations. Alright, so... Uh, the Soul Grimoire gained 2 attack, right? Your Death Watch gain, uh, your General gains 2 attack. Whenever any minion dies. Any minion. So, we're talking about 2, right? So gain 2. So this will be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. On top of this, right? Yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14. That's still not enough, though. Unless I'm missing something, that's still not enough. Mm. Oh, this is the one I missed. I don't know. Let's try it. I think I know what I'm doing. I think so. Okay, so apparently I'm wrong. Because this isn't going to work. No, but that gives me one, obviously. This would kill it. I can't use it again. Okay. That's kind of what I was curious about, by the way. Mm-hmm. And that still only gives me six, though. See, that's the problem. Oh, wait. I think I know what to do. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, so activate this again. I want to keep killing this thing. I got it. I knew it. I knew it would be something like that. But I can't. It won't let me attack him. Oh man, I was totally right. That's what's gonna happen is I have to attack him. And of course I can't hit him. Oh. I think I see. Ooh, but then how would that work? Would I do this? I think this is what I would do, right? I'm gonna take some damage here. Okay. Yep. There's that. Alright. So that's 10. And then destroying that again. That would be 12. But see, they still can't attack him, though. See, that still doesn't add up. That's 12, 13, 14. That's still not enough. And it's too far. He doesn't let me control him. Yeah, see, that doesn't work the way I was hoping it would. Alright, let's try again. So I get the point of what's going to happen, it's just a matter of how. How is this going to work? I still feel like these are the best moves here. Hmm. I feel like I somehow need to get all of them to die at once. Somehow, 
They need to all die at once. They can't move close enough. I'm missing something here. I know I am. What am I missing? Airdrop. <laughs> Where are those things? They're gone. Anyways, I feel like I'm just missing something. Like, I feel like they all need to be in the same spot, but I'm not sure how I would do that. Unless... No, that's still not enough. Yeah, because he comes here, he can't get close enough. Uh, and of course if I put him here, he can't retaliate for him to die. See, these two need to die, I don't see how they're going to die. Without using this, maybe. Hmm, this is difficult. What am I missing? It's such a puzzle. It's such a puzzle. Obviously the point is to power her up, as I said. But how to power her up? Hmm. I still think this was the best strategy, just putting in there, flinging her over here to do damage to everyone around her. But then, my Abyssal doesn't do much, obviously. Ugh, man. Let me try something, just because I want to try it anyways. Give it a shot, right? So then that's two. Let's try this. Uh, what? Oh, because she got hit three times. Oh, yeah, see? So move her forward maybe? And move these guys this way. Sorry, we're gonna try the same strategy again, just I'm moving her. Wait, hold on. Gosh darn it. Alright, let's do this. Okay, hold on. They need me first. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> Alright, because I was always like, I'm missing just a little bit of damage here. So... If I get her close enough to dying, would it matter? Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got something. 
Alright, I still think I need to move her over here. These guys really don't matter where I move, I'm just moving them. Um. Oh, wait, hold on. I need to keep them there, actually. Ooh, it is difficult. To all nearby enemies, so I assume it's the square around her. I was wondering if I could get her like over here and then spawn that dog thing. Hold on. I just, I feel like I know what I need to do. Mm. Alright, let's see if I'm right. So attack her and destroy the dog, right? And then get the dog to spawn over there. And then fling her. Wait, cancel. Hold on. And get him right here. No, but then he could spawn over there. See? Now that's a problem. Oh man, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. Alright, let's see if this works in this. So that moves her there. Alright, or moves it there. And then fling her over here. Steal damage there. And then do this again. Oh wait! Derp. I need to put on my grimoire. Alright, now do it. Now attack her to destroy the dog. Still didn't do it right. Alright, move this up. Attack her to destroy the dog. Dog moves over here. Fling her over there. Destroy the dog again. And then destroy the dog again. And then they both die. It's still 16 though. Ah, uh, it's still not enough. Oh. Alright, so wait. Okay, so I figured it out. This is how it works. I was right. I just missed that little last spell. Alright, so attack. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> Equip this. Move him up. Attack her to destroy the dog. And that spawns it over there. Alright. Then we fling her over here. Alright. And then destroy the dog again. And then destroy the dog again. And then destroy the dog again. And then that's it. Bam! That took way longer than I meant to, but dang! We got it. <laughs> Oh man, that took way longer than I expected it to. Holy moly, five gold. Okay, those are spirit words. Woo! <laughs> Got it. Alright, guys. Um, last thing, let's check out the rest of the interface. So these looks like these are our cards for Linear. Linear. Whatever. Vitruvian, Magmar. Vitruvian looking good, man. Neutral cards, that goes with everybody, okay. You can build your deck. Quests, these are the daily quests we just talked about. I already completed the daily challenge. Next one is win a season one. Win one season live game, which is PvP, I assume. Profile, bronze, I haven't played anything yet. Faction battle ribbons, ooh, that's cool. Faction levels, how much you play of each guy. 
ranked history. I'm still bronze. Nothing new. Match history. Show they're going to have. I've already set my password. I ignore that. Play for zero seasons. <laughs> Armory. Get Spirit Orb. Each spirit orb contains five cards. Each one card will be rare or better. And we do have 100 gold, so let's open this up. Alright, success. You know what? Actually, we're going to open that up in the next video, guys. <laughs> you know me with loot, loot opens, right? I just have to. So, 100 and 1500 spirit. Dang. For these little emotes, it looks like. That's cool. I'm okay with that. Little $2, whatever. Cosmetic purchases, I'm completely okay with. I've always been okay with them. Doesn't affect the game. Just looks cool. Profile icons. Same thing. It looks like everything is honorable in game. I don't see anything that says just a dollar amount. Card backs. Cool, you can get card backs. General skins. Oh, that's awesome. You can get skins for these guys. See, I'm actually okay with this for some reason. I love it. And bundles. Like emote bundles. That's what they all are. It looks like. What is this? Purchase your Steam wallet. Ooh. 11 emotes for Soul Repo. Duplicates will be disenchanted for spirits. Alright, I do have two zero spirits. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for Duelist. I would love to actually put some more videos up on the channel. This looks really cool. And as soon as you see this video goes live, I hope you enjoy it. But uh, get ready for the Spirit Award opening in the next video. That's going to be interesting. But um, I also want to say one more thing before I go. I recommend checking out Humble Bundle right now. There will be a link down below this. So that way you can get the free Spirit Orbs and Humble Bundle card back. Um, I do believe you get some Spirit as well. But I'm not entirely sure on that one. I know the Spirit Orbs and the card back. Um, so, so go check it out. Free stuff is always great. Humble Bundle is an amazing organization. I do recommend checking them out. They are not supporting me. They're not paying me to say this at all. This is just my own recommendation. But I hope you enjoy this as I said. And whew, I hope to see you next time playing some Duelists.